You may notice a distinct lack of myrmicorns in the background, and that's because my dumb dog chewed them all up. So if anybody wants to send me money to get a new myrmicorn, my Venmo is Avery Jam. Hey, howdy, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am here to do my August TBR. Can you believe it's August already? I cannot, summer is almost over. We're almost back to school. I've decided, I have decided, I've decided to read some books in August. There are some on here that I am continuing from last month. So let's start with those. The first one being The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. I was going to get to this one uh, in the month of July and it just didn't happen but I still am really wanting to read it and so I didn't want to just throw it off completely so I'm going to be reading it this month as well I'm gonna carry it over um, and then also Shorefall by Robert Jackson Bennett the sequel to Foundry Side I started on audiobook this month but I had to return it to the library before I was able to finish it so I will be listening to that this month as well for my ebook this month, I will be reading something that everyone is very excited for. I'm going to be reading Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. I just read Twilight this last month in preparation for it, so I'm very excited to get to it. Uh, I assume I'll go through it pretty fast since it's the same story over and over again. Come on, Stephanie Meyer, come up with a new idea, hun. The next book I plan on reading next month is Snot Girl Volume 3 by Brian Lee O'Malley and Leslie Hung. This is a graphic novel by the same writer that wrote Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I have read volume 1 and 2 and I absolutely love it. I adore the characters, I adore the art style, the plot, I'm a little meh on. The first two issues were a lot of like story setup and character introduction and so I'm hoping that maybe now that we're getting into the third volume the plot will get slightly less confusing. There is a lot of elements of magical realism in the plot, uh, which is what really confuses me because I forget from volume to volume what exactly is going on magic-wise. I just absolutely love the drawings. Like, honestly, the plot could go anywhere and I'd probably still read them. Next month, I am going to be reading a book called Poemsia by Lang Liev. I'm not going to talk very much about this book because Lang Liev is my least favorite author and I will be making a whole video on her other books and my reaction to this book later in the month. So stay tuned for that if you want to see me hate things. Another book that I plan on reading this month was one that just kind of came out of the blue for me, and that is Mayhem by Estelle Laurie. This book is was described to me as The Lost Boys meets The Craft in book form, which it sounds right up my alley. It sounds like everything I could want in a book. I believe this book is YA, so I think I'll get through it pretty quickly. And the cover art on this one is really beautiful as well. Great covers this month, all around. Uh, it's described on the front as a beguiling, lyrical, beach gothic page turner, which sounds absolutely perfect for the month of August. And I'm really trying to get some books that are a little more exciting, a little more edge of your seat kind of reading, just to sort of hopefully push me out of the slump that I've been in. And then the next book that I plan on reading is another graphic novel, and it is Aquacorn Cove. Look at how fucking precious that is. Oh my god. It's a unicorn and a mermaid. What more could you want? This book is by Katie O'Neill, who is the same um, artist and author that wrote The Tea Dragon Society, which is another adorable graphic novel that I've been dying to get my hands on. So I plan on reading this one and then hopefully getting that one as well. Her illustrations are just so darling. It's just a short little graphic novel, so I'm sure it won't take me very long to read, and I am just so excited about it. Cute little, cute little girls going on unicorn water adventures. We love it. It seems like a great graphic novel to finish off the summer with. The next book that I'm planning on reading in the month of August is another uh, thriller, a bit of a page turner, and that's The Shadows by Alex North. 
This book is about a group of friends and a murder that happens in a small town and then years later um, things start to happen and the murder starts to affect their lives once again. And I have not read, I believe his other book is called The Whisper Man. Um, it was really popular a couple years ago when it came out and I have not read that yet, but I am very excited for this one and hopefully if I like this one I'll get to that one as well. So this is my first Alex North book, but I'm very excited about it. I just love the cover too of this one. I don't know what it is about the covers that I picked this month, but they're all great. I love them. The last book that I want to talk about is a book that I'm just going to be starting in the month of August. I do not expect to finish it at all, but it is one of my books that is was like a book that I absolutely wanted to get to in 2020, so I do want to start it um, so I can get it finished probably in the month of September. And that is East of Eden by John Steinbeck. This is a big boy. He thick with two C's. East of Eden by John Steinbeck. I love John Steinbeck as a writer. I enjoy American literature and so I've enjoyed John Steinbeck's work that I've read in the past. I've read Grapes of Wrath. I've read Of Mice and Men. I really loved them both. This book comes in at uh, just about 600 pages. So it's quite the big book. It's similar to a lot of his other books. It's about, you know, the American dream, manifest destiny, all that good stuff. And I am really excited for it. Like I said, I'm sure I'll get a start on it this month, but I highly doubt that I will finish it. That is all I have for you. Stay tuned next month. I've got a lot of great video ideas coming your way, specifically that one about Langley Ev that I talked briefly about in this video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I hope you liked this video. If you didn't like this video, then you can go and stick it up your butt. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you feel like it, and I will see you all next time. Bye!